She's settling, but she's still trying to nurse. Wish one of my cats would stop being a jerk and, you know, mama her. We have one that that's a mama or used to be a mama. And she just looks at the kitten. She's like, whatever. I've done my time. <laughs> and just walks off. <laughs> she literally looks like she's like, I've done my time. Don't. Not again. <laughs> it's kind of funny, to be honest. Don't <laughs> like jerk, get back here. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that. Look at this. I'm kind of stuck. Alright. What do we have going for show off on stream? I showed that off. Showed that off. Jody added something. Jody, do you want me to show off that S dragon too? And that ring? Ouchie. Ouchie. This hurts. This hurts a little bit. This hurts a little bit. Okay. Okie dokie. Switch over to game face. Alright. So we have Jody that finished spinning Calix's yarn. Didn't didn't Calix say this was uh the school colors? I cannot remember. That looks really, really cool. Look here's look at this close up. That looks so cool. I don't think I will ever do spinning, but I appreciate the ones that do, even though I don't do anything with yarn crafts anymore. And then see whips and finishes Jody did an S dragon looks really good I really like those green colors that this part like the chartreuse lime green ish going on it's two of your five school colors that's awesome and then since you finished it you were playing around with beads were you doing peyote there? Kind of looks like you were doing peyote from the start there. Adds in five. No. Oh. Yeah. And that's the ring you made, but you said that it fell apart. You with... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> um, with you having different size beads like this, if you've got, you know, especially with you doing your dragon, you should look into a stitch called Selini. C-E-L-I-N-I. -I, I think is how it's spelled, if I can remember correctly. Um, basically what you do is you go through different size beads. So you can start like 15s, go up to 11s, go to eights to sixes, and then you back off. So you would go to, since you're at a six, you'd go to eight and then 11s and then 15s. And it makes this cool wave look. Um, I like it. I think you would too. Um, Let me see if I can pull it back to just chatting really quick. Oh, hello. Hi. Yep, you're searching again. Hello, sweet bean. C-E-L. Selene. I think it's Selene. I think there's two L's in there. Yeah, C-E-L-L-I-N-I. -I. Um, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, Ridigan. 
thanks for the lurk. We are just looking over. Well, since they're not labeled, Jody, at that point, you would just go from like small to large, like put them in size order. You don't really have to have. That's the cool thing about Cellini is that it gives you this really cool free form look. So you can do the uh, Cellini spiral like this and that can make a bracelet or a necklace. Um, you can do it flat like this and basically it's peyote. Um, but ads are about to start. I will see y'all in a few minutes. Do your bow break, take your meds, do all the things. I'm going to take care of this one. We'll be back.
Allo, allo, allo. We're back. So, yeah. Uh, Jody, are you still here? Are you back yet? I had to put the kitten away. She was something. She wasn't settling, so I had to put her away so she could settle back into her bed with her little heat pad, hoping that, you know, she's okay. I feel so bad for her. I wish I had a litter mate or something where my cats would take an interest. Uh, Jody, did you want to um, look at more of the Cellini spiral? That I was talking about. There are a ton of little YouTube videos that are free. Like they have the flat Cellini stitch. That you can look at. I think. And like I said, it's from, you can even use like Delica's really really tiny ones and then go into like here let me show you this right here this is flat Cellini so if you look really close at the, like the zoomed up image um it's it's flat so like this this bracelet pointing at my screen like you can see it, this bracelet right here that is also flat as is this one um the beads make it have this like concave bit to it, but it is technically flat. Um, I should have looked while I was on break for my Cellini that I did once, but I don't know where it's at. It was a long, long time ago. And I was just experimenting, but you can look at like this link um, honestly, I don't know. I've seen them. I've seen them that they can get expensive. Like we can. Where's Etsy? I can spell brace lit. <laughs> so, I mean, the patterns are pretty cheap and inexpensive. I shouldn't say cheap, it's inexpensive. And here's another oh, screen again. Here is another one that you can, this is a variation of Cellini. And you're basically working when it's flat, you're basically working on a diagonal. You can see it here. So you'll do one of this. You're working like that. So how you would draw a, a stripe. Here's a portion of like earrings. So a portion of Cellini to make that really cool shape. Um, here's one selling for $39. Hey JB, welcome in. How is it going? Can I get a shout out for JB? Um, so yeah, a complete spiral like that. They're selling it for 40 bucks. Oh gosh. Look at these. Oh, Ooh, look at this. How cool. Oh, I wants it. Oh, I'm gonna favorite that right now. Oh, that is so cool. I could just watch it spin forever. <laughs> okay. This is a whole kit for 50. So yeah, there's, there's different things that you can get. Let me 
all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what, it, that's what I'm looking like. It depends on like the quality of the beads. So like if it was like 24 karat gold plated, you know, it would be more expensive because the cost of those just by themselves are just astronomical. Um, the Santa. Oh, yeah. Those are, oh, excuse me. Um, these are, come on. Peyote stitch. There you go. Not too bad. <laughs> the elf is kind of cute. <laughs> and they all stack. Little beaded box. There's part of the beads. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I have. There's there's a lot. I haven't looked up Cellini. Oh, look at that. This is pretty. That is very cool. I'm doing all right, JB. We're just hanging out. We got a little sidetracked. I just put the uh, the baby kitten back in her little her little thing because she was she scratched me up pretty good. So just taking a break, kind of wandering away from my beating I was doing and talking about different stitches. Like and this like stuff like this. You can do that. It looks difficult, but when you break it down, it's probably two, maybe three techniques at max. Let's see. Golden mesh. Peyote stitch. Yep, just peyote stitch. Um, I am beating my stars, focus, there you go, doing these little beaded stars right here. So I'm just taking a small break from them. It's very tiny. The yellow is a little hard to see. Oh, hey, Jody, another one you could make. Can't think about this. Look at you can make this. This is like, I believe tubular herringbone. And they make they work up quick. Like you can make it any sort of pattern like they have. Like look at that. Any sort of beads. You just adjust the sizes in there and it all works together. Look at that. That is. You don't need much. Are you going to tell me? Yeah, herringbone and double right angle weave. That's not too bad. As well as normal right angle weave. That's not bad. And yes, I am very much an enabler. Because I know you could do this. Yes. I went on a tangent and made a herringbone rope necklace. <laughs> Just made it as long as I could. Never finished it. But it was getting pretty long. That's having fun. Ooh, look at that cuff. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of stuff. Like, I have so many beads. <laughs> I just need to pick a pattern. 
you know, and that doesn't even cover the patterns that I have printed out from 10 years ago that are down there. It's just, and what's in my, my, uh, drive brain, brain forgot, brain forgot. But literally, I I like I like the uh, kind of freestyle stitching, and it's just you do beads, and then you fill in little gaps. You change out the beads. It's really really pretty. The free form. That's what I was trying to say. Free form, not freestyle. It's kind of the same thing, but I call it free form. And it's just, it's super pretty. Now I'm probably going to end up going down a rabbit hole I don't need to go down. What else is there? Have you tried a uh, brick stitch, Jody? Because brick stitch is pretty. I like brick stitch because it's basically you take peyote and you work up like this way, you go up. Brick stitch is literally taking that peyote. <laughs> And turning it on its side and going under bridges. It's just, but it looks the same as peyote. Just a completely different technique. Not singular. So... I'm sure you have probably seen what I have made before in Brick Stitch. Yeah, this is a twist off all the time. Like I have a little Mario. And with a lot of these, I will start out with peyote. Like on the first, I'll find the whitest part of my pattern. So it's probably like here or up here and I will do a peyote start because it makes it easy and then I will work up and down. So like I have this, this little Mario, I need to make Luigi, I have my peanut butter and jelly hearts. This one is years old and I never finished it, but it is a, a rainbow unicorn. <laughs> so yeah, just, just different things. Like, and I, I would make earrings. So like this was a stocking that was going to be made into an earring. Whoops. Also, I turned it the right way. A little stocking. And these work up so quick. They're kind of like gratifying. This one. This one is interesting because, you know, you think of stocking and it's going to hang like this. So the beadwork is diagonal to the picture. So you think, you know, stocking shoe, you kind of want to keep it that way. But if you look really close, it worked like that. You wanted to change the craft, but it's not letting you. How do I have that set up? How do I have that set up? It should. Hold on. Do I have it once per person? Hold on. Let me figure out what's going on. Change the craft. Edit.
Nope, it just has it as a Are you entering text, Mr. Cat? Because it won't let you just redeem it without typing something. <laughs> that is an adorable Santa. That is adorable. I like that. Oh. So I guess that was it, is that you weren't typing? I'm just confused if it actually... Oh. Okay. I was just trying to make sure it wasn't my end. Good to know. Good to know. So I guess I'm going to put this up. We were on a tangent anyway. But yeah, so. Uh, I like beading. I do. I miss doing these little brick stitch things because I have a bunch of them. I don't really have a finish for them because I've just never done it. But uh, I used to make all sorts of stuff. Like all sorts. It's pretty insane. <clears throat> this is going to require a little bit of cleanup. And put away. We almost had a star done. Maybe if I wouldn't have gone off on that tangent, <laughs> I probably could have had it done. <laughs> Let me find that. Oops. Let me get this back out. Let's see. Can I use this properly? There. That's what this is good for. Tubing. Triangle one's good for moving the piles that already exist. <laughs> no, you don't have to be sorry. I enjoyed it. And I got to play with my new bead mat. So, win-win. And, you put those in here. Here we have a nice little kit. The beading actually goes somewhere different. Need that. They're all of that. I like to shake mine out to get the fur off of them, keep them nice and clean. This will go up there for now, which is beyond the desk. I have a lot of taking the kids out to pick up Walmart order and figure out dinner because you're drained. Okay, Mr. Cat, thanks for taking both kids. Are you taking both kids? Are we taking both kids? Oh, brave man. Y'all start, start saying your prayers or whatever you believe in for Mr. Cat. He has taken both kids to the store. <laughs> 